gonna today we're gonna start out. We haven't filmed for a couple days. We've gotten a bunch of snow since the last time we filmed it. I think it was six days ago we filmed on a Friday. Today's Thursday. And intentionally, if you if you watch the last episode and the episode before that, um, I slowly was really kind of ramping up with success um, in the drills that we were working on, trying to send her back to the same spot multiple times or send her back to the same general location multiple times. We were using a laddering drill. Um, here we were running some doubles, long, relatively long doubles, um, just set up as trailing memories. Distractions with some pheasants, distraction with a little bit of cover to hunt in, distractions with some um, brush or trees that we had to kind of push her into. Um, we did that for several days in a row as a remedy to an issue that we were having sending her into a spot uh, for multiple retrieves. And she did really well with it. She got a lot better at it. Um, I got better at reading her on when to send her. Um, we made real nice progress. And then after about a week of that, doing the exact same, basically the same thing over and over she became relatively sluggish um i even call her out on it and say boy she's just kind of lackadaisical a little bit she's and i think part of it was she was getting a little bored with it i think part of it was it wasn't much of a challenge i think she was flat she was just real flat and so I, I, my last i think the last time we filmed i said you know what it's clear to me that that's happening and we need to take a break from it sometimes i think i get too i just i just watched this video um, with a gal that's training these dogs um, it's a series that they did it's called life of a gun dog and, and I, I refer back to that um, throughout a lot of different dogs that I've trained. They break it down in 10 different videos and they take four dogs out of the same litter and they train them. And so I use it as like a benchmark thing. I use it as kind of seeing some of their progressional steps. But one of the things I watched was this gal was struggling with this dog um, to handle it right and left. And, and she just kept talking about how it doesn't matter. She's, she's not getting it. She was really getting frustrated. You could tell she was getting frustrated. She said, I just got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to be consistent, repetitious with it until it makes sense. I completely disagreed with it when I watched the video because I was like, man, you're just banging your head against the wall. And so eventually a month later when they filmed the next video she had the dog doing it and I don't know that the answer was necessary I don't know how she fixed it because they don't really show that which is the difference between what we're doing and what, what they were doing now I think what they were doing was had a lot of value but for me I think the fix at times is when we start getting into the spot where we're banging our heads against the wall it's sometimes smart for us to take a step back and literally take a break um, I didn't take a break from her being under control. I didn't take a break from her doing anything. I used in the last week, I used tennis balls quite a bit and I worked on a little bit of marking with her on a tennis racket and I'd hit it up into cover and let her, I posted all that stuff on my Instagram page, did a lot of stories with it. Worked, I realized um, in the last week by not working on that specific, these specific drills, I realized some of the other issues I'm having with her. Um, yesterday she struggled greatly to, to heal in the deep snow. She just, right now her focus is not real great. She's very distracted by the pheasants. Well, it's been a week. You know, she, she was here a week ago. She was here for a week straight and she was not distracted by the pheasants. It became kind of normal and she became kind of, she just didn't pay attention to them anymore. Well, now we're back and look at her now. So I think there's value in taking a break at times and stepping back. I think there's value in the consistency and repetition to learn something new. But I think we have to figure out when and where and how to adjust that. With her, now my goal coming back to this in this last week was eye-opening for me. A lot of things I need to work on with her. Um, Off-lead heel has been very good and sit to the whistle off of off lead heel has been very good. Now we need to get her to start sitting to the whistle at a little bit of a distance. That's something that's very high on my priority list. Um, I realized, because I had kind of forgot about it, and I don't even care, but I was watching this video and they introduced, they had a dog that was about 10 months old too in the video, and they were introducing one of them to the gunfire. We're gonna do that. Um, her retrieve drive is so strong, um, it's very easy for me to incorporate the gunfire to the retrieve. So we're gonna do that with Ben in the next week. Um, it's on my list of things, we got it, we're gonna do it. And I don't feel rushed to do it, but I think it's time to do it. It's a good spot for us to mix things up and change some of these things that we're focusing on to keep it keep her fresh and keep her excited about her training. I don't want her getting flat and bored. Um, 
it just creates a lot of issues with me in confidence and in enjoyment. I don't have as much fun with it. She's certainly not having as much fun with it. I've come to a very strong recognition of we got to have fun in our training. If it's not fun, we don't want to do it. If we don't want to do it, we won't do it. If we don't do it, nothing happens. So it's a very, it's a, a lot of things are connected. So today we're back after a week of doing, we haven't done this drill, any of these drills for a week. Now I'm going to change it a little bit. Instead of doing this one first, we're going to go do the other one first. We're going to do the one where the, the road goes down through the trees. The trees are tight to the road. She pushes through the trees, through that barrier and picks. We're going to do four dummies. We're gonna do them at a pretty good distance. We're gonna send her back, send her back, send her back, send her back. She's got lots of energy right now. It's clear. Um, I may even be a little bit cautious of her steadiness because she's so got so much built up energy now after about five or six days of not doing it. She's borderline on the verge of breaking a little bit, I think, based on what her body language tells me. So I'm gonna be cautious. I'm gonna use the adjustable leader. I'm gonna get a hold of it. If I have to give her a quick correction and steady her up, I will. But the idea is not to take the wind out of her sails. The idea is to say, has what we did for a week straight, has that stuck for her to have the confidence and understanding of, if he sends me to go, I should go, regardless of how many times he does it. If The whole reason we're doing it is because a while back, she hung up on it. She wouldn't do it. She, didn't ha she wouldn't go out. She'd run out and pick the first one. And then on the second one, she'd fade and break down and hunt short and the third one she'd break down way short so uh, that was when i said boy we got to fix this so that's when we started setting up some of these drills so ben's going to come with me we're going to head over and we're going to set that one up first now what i'm going to do and i have done it in the past is i've used this chance to heal over there to get heel work with her get some sit to the whistle i might even do that a little bit what i'm not going to do is I won't do that until I get good heel work in this snow. This deep snow has proven to her to be a little bit challenging to focus through. Much like when we were first started walking through water, she'd dance and get excited. And now all of a sudden the snow got deep and she's dancing and getting excited where, you know, last week this snow, there was 12 less inches of snow. We've had two snowfalls that have totaled a little over 12 inches. So you can see all of our tracks and trails are, are snowed over. Um, we haven't been out here since the snow and the first snow was four or five days ago and the last one was yesterday. So that's another thing that's gonna be good about this. When we go back to those setups, we're in the same spot, but our trails aren't there. And those trails are helpers for her. Those are like a, giving a kid a, uh, a ruler to draw a straight line. It's a lot easier to do that than to ask him to just draw a straight line. Those rulers aren't there as clear anymore because of the snow. So it's gonna be a true test and it will give us a, it will give us a good barometer reading of did that stuff we work on stick i'm optimistic that it will if it didn't then we'll go back and continue to work on it but we got to take breaks at times and give her a chance to kind of clear her mind now this is where this heel work is going to be a real test you can just see how just look at her body language jumpy lunging two feet up one foot can't figure out how to now she's got ice in her paw. Come on. And this won't work if we got this. Feet are getting cold. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heel. Heel. So we got to make sure we don't have an issue with that. It's about five degrees out right now. So it's pretty damn cold. Now I'm surprised that she's breaking down on me. Heel. So if she does, we got to figure that out too and go, you know what? can't do this good I mean just for me to walk in it it's a bit of a challenge. Ben, is that audio good? One thing, we had a few issues with the audio. I had my mic rubbing, so I apologize for that in a few of these last episodes. I hope it's not all of them. We're gonna find out, I haven't watched them all, but we had a little bit of an issue when it got started getting colder and I started putting more layers on. We had a mic rub, good. Good. 
it heal. One of the things that is on my list, and I'm going to start making a little bit more of a um, uh, effort to document a list of things with this dog. I think it's going to help me out in the big in the big picture with her training. But I'm going to start making a little bit of a list of strengths and weaknesses. Start journaling it a little bit more. Good. Heel. Sit to the whistle is going to be one of the things we really want to start tightening up. One thing I'm real happy with is her heel work. She's tightened up with me a little bit. For a while there she was drifting. Now she's hugging in nice and tight. I don't want her pushing me, but I don't want her out too far either. Heel, heel, good. Good. Good dog. Bella, heel, good. One thing I'm going to start doing, see it, sit up. And this came from that video that I was talking about, that gal that I watched. She made a point, and I usually don't like to give them a cheat. I call, them, I call it cheating. I don't like to change my pace or cadence. I like just the whistle to be valuable enough and, and strong enough to get the dog to sit. One thing that this lady is doing and I didn't really know, pick it up the first time, I, first few times I watched the video, but one of the things that she does is she gives the dog a visual clue with her hand. Bella, heel. So when she comes to a stop, she does the whistle with a hand. And it makes sense to me because when we're going to stop her at a distance, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to put our hand up. So I don't see any, any issue with her starting to connect the idea of the hand movement up right here with the whistle to being stopping. I think it's gonna to transfer to the field just real nicely. Heel. We'll do it without the hand as well because I do want the whistle to be strong enough without her having to see me, but I think this is a nice way to help her get to that. Heel. Sit. It's a little bit of a lazy sit. She's stopping, which when she gets older, I don't care if she actually sits. To start out with, with the, as a young pup, I do want her sitting. Heel. Good. Good. It's a lot colder today than I thought it was going to be. How are you doing, Benny? Hanging, freezing? Heel. I don't care. I bet. And I can see she's cold. She's, she does pretty well in the cold. All right, so we're back. We're back to that spot where we set these up to start out with. Now you can see, Ben, I'm gonna have you go on the other side. You can see up this alley, it's still a road, but there's no tracks. Before I ran the snowmobile up and down this and made a nice track, it was just a, a runway for her. That's it. These dummies are gonna stand out real easy for her against the snow. Watch. Watch. Heel. I'm gonna reset her. Ben, you stay on that side so we don't have any. I'm gonna set this up as smoothly as possible with the camera. You bring the camera in, it plays a different, put adds an element. Sit. Sit. We, last time I think we saw a little issue with switching, heel. And that issue was brought on by me the week before by piling dummies. Sit. 
sit. I started piling dummies. And the reason I did it, watch, heel. I shouldn't even be talking about it right now. I should just be focusing on this drill, bend this side of us. Heel. Watch. Heel. And the reason I did it was I was watching, a, watching some more videos. I was watching some stuff, field trial videos. Guys that are field, this guy's a field trial guy. I'll talk about it more later, but they pile their dummies. And they force dogs to piles. and. So I thought, ah, I'm gonna give it a try. Well, against my better judgment, because I never pile stuff, because it promotes switching. I see Yogg's learn the habit, and she switched. And since she switched, I've run into it three times. Heel. Hadn't, hadn't had the issue for eight months. Keep backing up, man. And in one session, heel, I've had a dog that I did it, set her up for it, I've had her do it three or four times now since. So, heel. It's something that I gotta fix. Now, we've got this set up. I don't want this to drag out. I want this to be clean. My goal is boom, 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 four times. Down and back. Heel. Heel. With a little enthusiasm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about her delivery when she comes back, because I've run into a little bit of an issue with that too. I'm gonna get a hold of it because I know she's excited. Watch. Bella. I'm gonna be ready to whistle her back. Good. Very good. Good enthusiasm. Very good. Hold. 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 Very good. I like the delivery. Very good. Hold, good, sit up, good, dead, good, heel, right back, heel, heel, come on, sit, sit, watch, Vela, good, very good, I'm going to back up. You back up too, Ben. Good girl! Very good! Now she knocks that dummy down on quick to get on the whistle to get her back. I don't want the temptation to go to that far dummy. That's why I got him spread out. Very good! Hold. Hold right here. Hold. Nicely done, little girl. Good girl. Very nice. Hold. Hold. Dead. Dead. Very good. Very good. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Sit. We're going to try to clean up that little jump that she likes to do. Watch. Bella. Good. Go back. Good. Good. Very good. Good dog. Very good. Come on. Good. Very good. Right here. Right here. Hold. Very nice. Good dog. Good dog. Sit up. Right here. Don't turn away. I don't want that turning away. Here. Hold. Hold. Very good. Very good. Did. Good, heel, 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 come on, come on, sit, watch, Vela, good, go back, na, 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 heel, sit, sit, watch. Zella.
Good girl. Good girl. I probably got onto her a little early here with good. Good dog. Good dog. Very nice. Good girl. That's a good girl. Right here. Good dog. That's a good dog. Right here. Hold. Hold. Very nice. Very nice. Her delivery is pretty good today. Good dog. It's been good, but I've seen a little bit of an issue with it where she wants to run by, run past. Part of it is the deep snow helps. Very good. Dead. Dead. No jumping up. Sit. So I'm going to start becoming a little bit more picky and demanding of that delivery. It is time to clean it up. I saw a little bit of a bad habit starting with her wanting to run by me. She didn't really run by me today. I think it's because the snow is so deep. She didn't have a lot of opportunity to get a lot of momentum going. So she slowed up because of that. That helps. Um, but we're, I'm, I was actually borderline thinking about we might hold condition her here really quick. Because if I see just any issue coming up with that delivery, which I have seen now um, in the last four or five days, I'm going to fix it. Don't let it get any worse. Just fix it. Um, when we do it to hold conditioning, we're not going to be retrieving. So I want to, I've gotten this little project started, this, and I don't want to just shut it off until I get it, get it good. I don't want to stop it until I get it good. I don't want to stop it and start another project to hold conditioning. So I want to get, I'll put up with the sloppy delivery, but I'm going to try to minimize it. Um, which I did today and she did a nice job with. But I'm gonna try to get this perfect before we move on. This was pretty good. This was one of the better sessions she's had um, as far as her enthusiasm to go out. Uh, she got sticky with me there and if I watch the video again, I think I said something to her. Probably didn't need to, probably shouldn't have, probably held her up a bit. I got on her just a little bit. Ah, 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 nah, 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 nah. And then I lined her back up. Now, when I do that, she actually wags her tail a little bit. Ah, nah, 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 nah. It's a half wag. It's ears go back. She's not sure. So she was a little uncomfortable with me doing that. I lined with my hand the last time. I didn't line with my hand at all before that because I felt like she committed to it. So I sent her. The last time, because she had gotten sticky, I reached out and lined her and gave her that extra, that extra oomph to say, go back, go get it. Um, I'm really not using go back much with her right now. I'm sending it on her name. No need, to, no reason to get too many commands in there right now. I want to get this good when she releases. Then I'll start adding and go back because I won't need go back until we really start handling her to go back. Um, once she's going back there, I can start to tie it to sending her from the line to go back as well. And I can also use that when she comes back and I want to send her back to get another dummy. She goes and picks one up, she comes back. I turn around and I say, go back. She's gonna go back to the same spot. If she's out at a distance, go back. She's gonna turn 180 degrees and go. So she, go back really doesn't mean anything to her yet because we're just not that far along with the confident lining, but we're getting there. This was a lot better heel. So we're gonna work back now on our way, now this is a different, this is a different routine to what we had been doing. So I'm gonna work her back, we're gonna go right back on that same trail. We're gonna start, stop at the end of the long trail, pitch into the woods, a single. We're gonna walk back, we're gonna pitch into the cattails by the pheasants. We're gonna send her back on that one, and then we're gonna send her back on this one. It's the opposite of what we had been doing. So again, it's a similar drill. It's a very similar drill in the exact same spot. It's just we're flip-flopping. We're alternating the, the send. We're going to send her for the, normally what we'd send her on the second one. We're going to send her first and the first one second. So we're flip-flopping it to test that skill. Is the skill there? Does she have to have it memorized exact? Or does the skill or the understanding of lining out for a double and the idea of the memory of that double, is that strong enough to overcome the idea of we changed the routine a little bit, but it's still the exact same skill set we're asking. We're gonna find out. My hope is we drilled it into her for a week straight and she seemed to get better, 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 and then she hit this plateau and almost took a dip towards the end and I said, it's too much, I gotta give her a break. 
let her clear her mind. Now we're back to it, and she's starting pretty close to where she peaked out last week. Bella heel. Her heel work got a lot better since we started this, this session today. Part of it too on the way back is gonna be, we're walking on a broken trail. It's a lot easier walking back than it was walking over here. That's helping her out. Good heel. So I'm gonna go a little quicker, then slow down, good. And require her to think the whole way through. Good dog. Very good. Very good. On the way back, I think I'll I'll probably build in a little denial. We'll throw and work her steadiness, pick it up ourselves, battle heel. All just little things that we can do to get value out of traveling from one spot to the other. A lot of times if I'm working in two spots like this with my older dogs, we might come over here and set up a drill, then we're going over there to do a drill. One of the things that I'll do before we come over here and as I'm over here and going back, I'll drop a dummy or two or three or whatever it is, depending on the number of dogs. And then I could set up just long trailing memories. I could, I could have jumped a dummy there. I could walk back around here and I could send the dog from there and push the dog through this strip of cover to that memory. And we make like a circle memory. I'm not gonna do that with her, um, but with an older dog, I would heal. So at some point we'll start doing it with her too. At some point with her, a good example of this in this spot, a good example would be as we walked out of there, and we'll do this eventually, as we walked out of there, I'd have took a dummy, walked her this way, and just pitched one out, sit, and left it as an unseen. Turned around, lined her back to it. We're not gonna do that yet, but we'll get there. Little distractions. Real tempting. Good dog. Couldn't do that with her not too long ago. Good dog. Couldn't do it real confidently. We could do it, but we couldn't throw it over the top of her. We could do it, but we couldn't throw it that close to her. Real early on, we weren't getting, real early on, we weren't getting claps in. I mean, we were actually, but if you watch, it's like really early in the videos and we're doing some clapping in the driveway when it's summertime. Just getting her understanding that bang, that there's nothing wrong with it, heel. Good dog. This one, where I set this up for our double, 180 degree double, it's probably about 125 yards. Where I go to this one into the trees, she's consistently been very good at it. It's usually the run, one I run her on second. Today we're gonna run her on it first. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do differently is in the past, I've healed her right in there with me. Healed her right into the cover. Today I'm gonna to stop her short of the cover. I'm gonna go in and pitch it. So she's gonna sit remote and watch it. She's not gonna go all the way. So when I actually send her, she's gonna to have to break a trail. Sit, sit. She's gonna to have to break her own trail in. Sit down. I'm not gonna walk it all the way in. So the last 
50 yards of this retrieve for her is going to be an area she hasn't walked today. Now she's been in here a lot of times before, so we've really established this spot as a retrieve. Didn't quite go as far as it normally does. That could throw it for a curve too. It's buried in the snow, so it won't be visual. She will have to hunt with the nose. Don't have a lot of scent on that one, but she's picked it already, so her scent is on it. My hand scent's on it. Good. We're gonna give her a chance to watch that. Watch. Yeah. Let her think on that and walk off. Then we're gonna walk all the way up, past the pheasants, set the second one. Heel, heel. And then after that, that'll be enough for today. I mean, I'm really winded myself just walking in this. You can hear it, I'm sure. But it's hard to breathe. It's so cold. <coughs> it's very hard for a dog to use its nose in these temperatures. It's, a, it's something that I've learned deer hunting, deer don't smell nearly as well when it's really cold out. And I mean like it's got to be real cold. It's single digits right now. Wind chill is probably right around zero. But they can't, deer don't smell as well when it's super cold and I've seen it. And the reason is dogs are the same way. If I were to breathe in real hard right now with my nose, it would hurt because everything in there would freeze. It's so cold, it would sting. And so it's hard to process scent without breathing in through your nose. So I'm doing a lot of breathing out of my mouth because it's a lot more comfortable. But it's part of the reason why it's gonna be a little harder on her nose-wise because we're asking her to stick her nose down into this powdered crystallized snow in single digits and breathe in and every time you breathe in it hurts and every time you breathe in it freezes your nostrils and that's asking a lot watch Heel. i mean i can hear ben huffing you probably can't because the mic's on me and you hear me huffing plenty but ben's huffing too Ben's in a lot better shape than I am. Watch. Bella. Good. Good. Good girl. Real nice line from her. Now she's got to push through where she hasn't walked before. She's got to push through there where I didn't walk. And she's going to have to hunt a little shorter than where she normally finds it. And now it's nose because it's buried in the snow. You can see she's touching scent of it just a little bit. She's actually past it right now. But you can see as she works back, I can see her tail. She's touching scent. Good girl. Good dog. Good girl. Sent her without the hand. Didn't feel like I needed it. Good girl. Can tell she's tired. Although she pushes. I like, I like, I, one of the reasons I like her, I like her for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons I like her is because she tries. She does a real nice job of trying. Hold. Very good. Gives me real good effort. Good dog. Very nice on the delivery today. Sit. 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 
Good. Good. Dead. Dead. At night, we've even done a little bit of some delivery with a dummy in the kitchen. Not quite hold conditioning, but just trying to polish it up a little. Snowmobile is zipping through over there on the trail, and she can hear it. Sa -ta 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 -ta. Heel. Now we're going to go back. This second one may prove to be a little tougher. Timing has been added here. We paused a bit. Is she going to remember it? I don't know. We'll see. We've done that. We haven't done it for a while, but we've done this a lot. Many, many times. We've just taken a week off. We're not going to go all the way to the end, but we're going to go about halfway. Just because I have this slight hesitance to push it any further. Come on. Right now, because I don't want, I want to end today on success. Ben, you get to the other side. I'm going to heel forward a little bit. We didn't even go halfway. We probably went a little less than halfway. Heel. Heel. Sit. I really want to end today on success, so we're not going to push it any further. I don't need any more distance. 30 more yards isn't going to make a difference to me. I'd rather have a win. Watch. Bella. Bella. Good. Good girl. Good girl. She was hesitant. The second send pushed her through. Now she's got to hunt. She's a little short. Lost. Good girl. Very nice. Good dog. Now I'll add a little distance. Very good. Go on. Go on. Past the pheasants, you can see her. She heard her, turned her head a couple times, and she's still doing it. Very good. See the little bit of hair stuck up on her butt right now? Right here. Good. Good. Right here, that little tuft tells me she's not sure. Good. Hold. Reassure of it. Very good. Hold. Hold. That's a good dog. Good dog. Sit. Good. Sometimes when she sits, that's when her bad habit turns away from me. So we gotta be careful of that. Come on, come on. Good. I want this nice finish to the front. Did. Very nice. Heel. So we gave up. Sit. We gave up a few yards there on that one. And it was because I just said, there's no reason for me to get that extra and risk the idea of her not, not doing it. Um, she did it. I'm really happy with her. Good dog. Glad we got through it. I'm glad we accomplished what we did. Did I accomplish it? I don't know that I would say we accomplished it as solid as I wished we would have or thought we might have. Um, I do think she came back off of that week of not doing this pretty strong. Um, I would look back, I, I would need to look back and watch the last one compared to this, watch probably the last two compared to this, to have a better understanding of exactly what it is, but just on how I feel, she did much better. Good. There are some distractions around, there's a vehicle coming in, there were snowmobiles, there's all these little things throw, throw her for a loop, heel, and she needs to be, she needs to get comfortable. Sit. And they're looking at her ears. Heel. Not going to let her get distracted. Good. Have the focus right here. Good. That's more than enough for today, especially in these temperatures. Good. Here. 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 Good. Sit. Sit. That's about the third time I've called her off a sit in her life. I did it twice last week. And it's because I'm starting to free her up a little bit. That's getting her ready to start recalling her and stopping her to the whistle. So we're gonna start doing that here pretty quickly. Good. Heel, heel. 
but that's it. That's plenty for today. Um, all in all, I'm real happy with it. I got this whole new list of things I want to work on. I want to make sure we button up this, button up these drills before we shelf them a bit and, and fix some other things or work on some other things. And then we'll start taking those things and building them into this. Like this, this is a drill that we started out as singles, we turned it into doubles, we pushed them into cover. Uh, before, we weren't always pushing her into cover before this. Then we're gonna start, once we get mastered to sit to the whistles and a little bit of back casting, we can build back casting and sit to the whistles into this. Um, we can then turn that into lefts and rights because I'll stand over there and send her left and right. So we're gonna use that spot and we're gonna use that spot continually um, to add some of these new skills that we're gonna work on. This is the cover that it all started in. This is a cover, this was cover that we used. It's, it, the cover sucks now, so we're not really using it that much. But when it was good cover, that was where we hunted tennis balls in the summer. That was where we did a bunch of stuff, nose work. That from there, we went to throwing multiples in before we had all the snow. And across this field is where we ran into the issue with sending for two and three. We were running across cover strips over there to get into it. And we just ran into this issue where she didn't want to go back. Second, third, fourth time. So all that stuff is connected and all the stuff going in the, that we're going to approach in the future is connected, but we just can't take it all in at once. And when we run into these issues, we can't just blow by them. We can't just, we can't just sweep them under the, under the rug and go, eh, we'll go do something else. Cause that me is going to really come back to haunt me, um, at the wrong time and it's going to hold you up. You're just not going to be able to do what you want to do if you're missing parts. So heal. We're going to bring her back and that's it. Good.